Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily and I'm editing my video and more information is like coming out right as I do that. So this is going to replace the beginning of the other video and there's good reason. First things first, uh, South by Southwest has been canceled. People are saying that Coachella may be canceled, but there hasn't been an official word. But the LA Marathon is still going to happen this weekend. It's a big deal for here in Los Angeles. There's over 20 plus thousand people that will be running. Um, even more folks rooting friends on. If you've driven rideshare here in Los Angeles, you know that this is a big rideshare day. Folks need to get home, there's no place to park, and that sort of thing. And so I think it's a, actually really important for any of you guys that live here in Los Angeles to watch this video. It has a bunch of stuff in it. And for those of you who the coronavirus hasn't actually touched yet, it will eventually get to your city at some point or you'll know somebody that will drive in the city or something like that. And I think it's good information to know if you are sensitive and you don't like the tone of this kind of um, information, then this video probably isn't for you. I'm keeping it as light as possible, matter of fact. And I even have a nice little joke at the end. So I am sensitive to those who might be already touched by this issue and I don't want to make you even more upset but I do believe that a conversation needs to be had for the rideshare community because rideshare uh, demand is going to go up. Food delivery demand is going to go up. It's an opportunity for you to make money and for those of you who cannot afford to get off the platform you're going to have to figure it out and so the more conversations we have about this or we feel like we're ahead of what's going on rather than behind or that something is happening to us then i think the more confident we will be so with that being said watch the rest of the video and i appreciate you guys uh hanging in there and i will see you next saturday bye at the time of this recording, there are over 231 cases of the novel coronavirus in the United States, according to the U.S. CDC and local and state government. Big economy companies have finally responded with their recommendations on healthy and safe deliveries. Last week, Uber sent a note to drivers saying that if you are sick, stay home. Wash your hands, cover your cough and sneeze with a tissue or elbow, and to disinfect your vehicles. Lyft also sent a similar message with precautions. Both Lyft and Uber have warned drivers not to let the coronavirus to become an excuse to discriminate against passengers based on race. And as you know, that has not stopped the mounting numbers of Asian and now Italian writers who have dealt with discrimination this week. So we, we can't stay I, here come to it. because we are Italian. Hey, please. No, a jump sound yeah, ring simple, because yeah. we were waiting you for like five yeah, minutes. Yeah. No, 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 I can't. But can you say why we, why do you have cancelled the trip? Just because we're Italians, we yes, live, yes. we live here since, since September. You can complain to Uber. Because you are racist? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, it's not about racist, but it's about my safety, health safety. It's not a being safety. It's, yes. You know you're ignorant. Please know that everyone is vulnerable. Avoiding certain ethnic groups at this point is not going to keep you healthy. Better off cleaning your car and following precautions and food delivery giants DoorDash and Instacart offer similar warnings as Uber and Lyft. Grubhub shared the same but also further advised workers not to touch a customer's delivery order and asking restaurants to tie or seal bags containing food. I'm so happy they're doing this. They should have did this before. I've also noticed that Instacart, Amazon Fresh, and others have offered a leave it at my door option, which was probably there before, um, but I used that this past week when ordering groceries. And I'm sure that minimal contact will help all of you guys out there if you guys are uh, delivering food. Now, TaskRabbit will waive cancellation fees if you have to reschedule a job due to illness just to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Gig car in Sacramento and San Francisco and Seattle will be providing a bottle of hand sanitizer in each vehicle. And Lime Scooter Service have pledged to increase the frequency of cleaning and disinfecting their vehicles and adding cleaning stations inside of facilities around the world. Now, I've spoke to a handful of drivers this past week and the responses have been um, pretty split down the middle. The biggest problem I think we all are running into is that no one has a playbook on this. 
So people are doing the best with what information they have. Here at SeaTac, some of the folks we just caught up with said they were more nervous about the plane ride in than they are about the Uber or Lyft ride into town. I don't feel like I'm super contaminated there more so than anywhere else. Uh, I do, but I'm not worried about it. I was worried about that on the plane. Plane is what I worried about. Pretty much. And I'm sure by now that you are tired of being asked if you're going to continue to drive as the numbers of the numbers of people sick grow. As soon as the customers get in, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wear my mask. Uber and Lyft driver Tedesi Admasu is taking precautions to keep himself safe from COVID-19. But he's well aware that people getting in his car might not be doing the same. I'm scared a little bit, but I'm still driving. It's my job. He has hand sanitizer up front for himself, sanitizer in the back for his riders, and he says he cleans the windows whenever he gets the chance. Yeah, I try to make it clean every time, yeah. Is there a point where you think you'll stop driving? I, I, I didn't decide yes. And I don't want you to answer, but if you feel like sharing, please let us know in the comments. Uh, there's a lot of people that have no choice and this is how they make their money and if you don't drive you won't be paid working from home isn't an option right yeah it's my job yeah i have i don't have another job videos like this are meant not to scare you but to help shed light on things that you don't know about the comment section is a great place for you to also learn from other drivers you thought last week when we we're talking about safety <laughs> and drivers being vulnerable I mean, drivers are literally putting their health in the hands of a stranger every single time a stranger gets into their car. Some drivers, especially those that depend on airport traffic solely, may experience fewer rides due to the decrease in travel. Um, Uber does think that rideshare rides will increase because people will be less likely to use public transportation and are more likely to deliver food from Uber Eats and it also goes for other services as well. And um, let's see. So if you are concerned about working with the general public, courier services may be a good option for you. Now, yesterday I met a young man who was not concerned at all. And he told me I'm in my 20s, so I'm not at risk to become infected. And the only thing that I reminded him of is that you could contract the virus and give it to someone else in your community. Um, and while I think for those of you who don't think the virus is an issue, that's fine. I think there's nothing wrong with keeping your cars clean, using hand sanitizer, washing your hands. Good hygiene can only help all of us remain healthy, whether we're dealing with the coronavirus or, you know, the flu or the common cold. When you're more diligent, people don't get sick as much. Another upside in this is that the coronavirus is pushing Uber stock down. And so if you want to own their stock, right now is a good time to buy. <laughs> well, there you have it. So today's What Would You Do is insane. None of you guys would do this, or maybe you could. Uh, there's a woman who was driving in Canada who picked up a husband and wife, and in her car, she had created a barrier to protect herself from people in the back seat. Even a sign that says, if you cough, how you should cough and all that. Well, the husband coughs. And from the passenger point of view, they say that the woman went crazy. She lost her mind. She was screaming at them, whatever. And then I guess the ride ended. Uh, the couple got hit with a cleaning fee. And from the driver's standpoint, she said that the man blatantly ignored her instructions, coughed and expelled mucus matter and stuff all over her car. She took pictures of her car where she had to clean the car door and send it. It seems like Ubers refunded them their money and I'm not sure if the driver was received anything, but, uh, I'm sure these types of things are happening all over the place. Now, as ridiculous as the story is, I really do feel bad for the lady because she has put so much work into all these diagrams and stuff and created this little bubble for herself, for her safety. Now, when I ran into this story, it was from a little twit who was like, people like this should be taken off the road and they shouldn't drive for Uber. And I'm like, oh, so now you guys are deciding who should drive for Uber and who shouldn't? <laughs> anyway. 
no. Like, I feel like she has a right. It's her car. She has a right to to uh, put diagrams up and all that kind of stuff. And the thing about the article I didn't like was that they cited that they were a professional company. We're two professionals and we wouldn't do that. And it's just like professional people can be ugly. As you saw with the CEO or, you know, in, in Arizona, some of the most successful people can be can be the ugliest. And so I give no Fs about your professionality or whatever. Uh, you could have coughed, hacked, and expelled mucus and stuff all over her car out of spite. You know, you could have done it and had a, a serious uh, coughing spell and couldn't have controlled yourself and it's everywhere. And whether I, there's a coronavirus or not, I don't want to have to clean up after you. So I feel like if in case someone does have a moment where they're coughing stuff up or they are uh, vomiting or there's stuff flying everywhere, I don't want to have to come in contact with your stuff. You know what I mean? And it obviously is your word against mine. But if it was in my car, my dash cam would have caught it all. That's what I'm talking about. But uh how do you feel about this story? It's not well, what would you do, but how do you feel about all of this? Because I'm sure you've picked up people who claim to be professional and all well put together, and they've exuded some pretty nasty behavior, especially when they um, seem to be entitled. Not that I'm saying that this couple was, but there was just an air of something there where I was like, you know what, there's, there's a little bit of truth on both sides, and it's unfortunate that... Um, this the driver is probably the one who got the raw end of the deal because she had to clean up behind these people let me know what your thoughts are in the comments if you see anything else like this anywhere please send it to me this would be awesome i would love to talk about this uh you guys can follow me on my youtube which is drive go drive uh, you can send things to me on facebook and if you're not subscribed to harry's channel the right share guy please subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to limit this to being my only coronavirus only centered content. I mean, as weeks go on, I will try my hardest to turn it around and to make it more positive. But I just felt like this needed to be put out there, especially because the numbers are growing. I do have a link. It's a heat, it's a heat map of all the um, cases uh, that are reported in the United States. So there's a ton of links this time, okay? And I'm gonna label them, they're all labeled nicely, but that heat map will tell you where the new cases have been discovered anywhere in our country. And I thought that was pretty helpful because having to look and Google it is kind of cumbersome, but this way you can see exactly where people are. If uh, you guys have any tips or tricks or anything like that, uh, let us know. If there's anything that's keeping you healthy, there's something that you do, something that your family tells you to do, something that you've heard, like right now is a really good time to share because nobody's sharing with us. We're just kind of figuring it out. So the more you can enrich the community by sharing your anecdotes, I guess the better we'll all feel about it because it's really about the fear of the unknown, I think. Um, so stay safe. Uh, make lots of money out there if you're doing uh, deliveries and things like that um, please uh, protect yourself and uh, you know over communicate if you need to and say hey you know do you want me to leave this at the door or whatever I do that all right guys take it easy bye